Welcome to the Mehari 2 CV Club Cassis. It is our pleasure to show you around our manufacturing plant for the original 2 CV, Mehari and Ian chassis. Did you know? The Mehari 2 CV Club Cassis has signed an exclusive operating contract with Citroen for the remanufacturing of many pieces using the original molds and tools. Are you ready? Come and discover our universe. The first step is to put in place all the interior frame elements, the inside rails, the suspension unit traverses, handbrake support, safety belt fixings, rear arch reinforcement, the support for the front seat rails, and the front arch reinforcement. The front traverse is numbered to ensure that the procedure of quality is followed for the production of each chassis. The elements are positioned and locked together. The first welding points are made. After this step, all holding points are released, we move to the second assembly phase. The structure is placed on its lower panel and positioned on the second unit in the assembly line. It is locked in place, and further welding points are made. The internal reinforcements and upper panel are put in place. A template is used which allows a welder to weld the upper panel and internal side frame to the original Citroen specifications. We are not yet in the era of the robotization. This step is complete. We move on to the third phase. The installation of the outer side frame panels. Again, all is locked. The original template is laid on top and the welding is carried out following the template. After the upper welding is complete, the lower part can be welded. The ends are crimped using a mallet. The chassis is then installed in the original Citroën frame crimping machine. This machine folds the edges of the chassis in one passage back and forth. The platform will now be installed on the original Citroën hole punching machine. The hole's positions are checked. The machine will now punch over 60 holes at the same time. The external elements will be added. The shock absorber and spring tube supports. The rear towing loops. The rear exhaust support. The front towing loops. The elements are locked in place. The elements are welded into place. The elements are released and the welding is finished. The chassis is then moved to the rotating welding table. The front and rear axle fixations are locked and welded into place. The lower reinforcements for the suspension spring tubes are fitted. Everything is unlocked. All that is left to do is install the fuel tank fixations. The final step before the anti-corrosion treatment is to install the drive shaft protection. We hope you enjoyed the visit. After production we have two types of anti-corrosion treatment possible. 
The hot dip galvanization at 480 degrees Celsius, or by cataphoresis treatment. In both cases you benefit from a high quality product protected against corrosion. I would like to remind you that our chassis are certified and comply with the UTAC standards as required by the manufacturer. Thank you for your attention. Safe driving.